I'm here. I have just arrived at my tiny cabin in Nova Scotia. I have driven for three long days, slept in my car two nights, which actually was fine. I'm just having a little picnic right now with some wine and some food on my covered porch because it is pouring rain. And I am just starting to look around at my land. I don't know, the lake is down there. You can see it through the trees. And so it's, it's supposed to rain for three days. I came off of the main road from Middleton onto a road called Squirrel Town Road. And that was a dirt road, very potholed, muddy. I had to crawl along, but that was nothing compared to when I turned off of that onto Treeline Drive, and that's the private road. And so the trailer and I bounced along. Thank goodness this car has four-wheel drive. I had to gun it through some major mud, and I don't even know how I didn't get stuck and swamp it, because, I mean, I know how, because I just kept my foot down. I went the wrong way. So I ended up on a private drive, which was the worst bit of the road. I had to turn around. I don't know how I didn't get stuck. And then I called my friends, Bob and Karen, who've actually been to the property, and they were so good at talking me off the cliff, trying to get me to understand where the heck I had to go. I ended up, what happened was there's two forks in the road, and I turned right at the first fork, which was mud, 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 and it was a private drive, ending in a private, like a chain across a private driveway. So I bounced and grinded back out to the, to the main road and then went up and found the second, uh, I guess, fork in the road, and then kept going and found my driveway and that's an interesting thing now luckily it's got stone and so I was able to get some traction so you go up and then you come down and I'm, I have a trailer on the back and so honest to God when I got into this driveway I tried to turn the trailer around and back it down so it was close to the house because it's pissing rain and to unload right wasn't gonna happen so I shut it off and I thought you know what the hell with it I'm done but I spent an hour unloading, got the basics in the in the cabin, and uh, this is, you know, the, I'll show you the inside of the cabin tomorrow. I'm too tired. So right now I'm having some wine. I'm cheering the fact that this is my land. These are my trees. This is going to be where I develop so many interesting things, including an outdoor kitchen. This is only the three acre part of the property as well. Across the, the little private road is 20 acres up, up a hill and I can't wait to go exploring through that. But we apparently are gonna have three days of rain. So I'm hunkered down for three days and we'll figure it out. But it's Easter weekend and so I'm gonna have some food and some wine and celebrate this momentous occasion.